Mirror by Nicholas B. Morris I like motels. You can make one hell of a mess and not worry about wasting your time clearing out incriminating evidence. No one who works at these places asks questions. They take your cash and look the other way. The bathrooms alone make the cost worthwhile, particularly the mirrors. The large, well-lit mirrors in motel bathrooms allow you to see from every angle so you can assess yourself with maximum efficiency. I will not stay in this particular motel again. The police have started investigating certain crimes, and while they cannot yet prove my involvement, their inquiries might hinder my freedom to move about as I please. And so I find myself staring at my reflection, contemplating what makes me recognizable, wondering how I can remedy it. The scissors I use feel sharp enough, but they still pull at the roots of my hair. It falls into the sink with an occasional bit of white skull meat on the ends. My head takes on an uneven shape, an egg wearing a cheap wig, but I still look too familiar. The scissors move from the top of my head to my jaws, snip, snip, snipping away at the beard I grew last winter. I put a new blade on my razor, fill my palms with foam. My hair turns white before my eyes. I pull the blade across my face, the crown of my head. My skin turns soft beneath the cold scrape of sharpened steel. Lines of blood well up, slide down my cheeks. The white foam on my face turns pink. Soon, only the eyebrows remain. Sooner still, they disappear. I look nothing like my former self. I have become a new man. But the old man still stares back at me from the mirror. He kept my jawline, my lips, my nose. I wash the razor. The sink clogs. A giant pile of hair fills the drain, trapping bloody, foamy water. A graveyard for identifying features. I go to work again. The skin takes a long time to peel and much careful slashing, but muscle slowly reveals itself. The blade dulls, so I reach for another. I slice my finger, replacing it. Three perfect Horizontal cuts spilling rich, thick liquid from beneath the surface. Soon, both lips drop into the sink. The cartilage of my former nose joins them. I feel no pain. Cold water tingles from every exposed nerve, sloshing through my teeth as I take a drink from my cupped hands. I examine my face in the mirror. Beneath the gore, I still recognize myself. I am not yet appropriately anonymous. My eyes betray me. If I can recognize myself in my eyes, then others can recognize me as well. I bend the razor blade to my will, aim it into the corner of my left eye. When I finish the deed, no mirror, no matter how brilliant or well lit will recognize my face. Thank you for listening to Mirror, written and read by Nicholas B. Morris, and produced by me, Jared I. McGee. Nicholas B. Morris grew up in Arkansas, but fell in love with Colorado. His stories and other assorted writings have been published in The Harpoon Review, Cliterature, Connotation Press, Danse Macabre Online, and Nebo. He has published two short story collections, the full-length Tapeworm and the chap book Boy in the Well, both with the now sadly defunct Monkey Puzzle Press. You can buy copies of Tapeworm from him directly on Amazon. He works in his dream job as assistant professor of humanities at the Community College of Denver and watches endless reruns of Star Trek with his partner, Alyssa Pacini. Caleb Hicks produced the original audio for the narrative 
He and Mr. Morris worked closely together on the spoken album of Mr. Morris's stories called The Boy in the Well. The soundtrack was taken from the Free Music Archive at freemusicarchive.org, an amazing community of artists that set out to help one another through the sharing of their art. Costa, featuring A.A., provided this song titled Het from their avant-garde album with what I assume is a gorgeous and creative title that happens to be in Russian. You can find more music from them and that Russian title at freemusicarchive.org or at their website, Kostat, K-O-S-T-A-T, dot bandcamp dot com. This track is being used under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike License 4.0. I hope that you enjoyed this story and that you will keep your eyes peeled for more stories by Nicholas B. Morris or other upcoming guest authors here on Prose. Stay tuned for episode 9.3, My Autumn Companions.